Hi Cancer, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. I appreciate you stopping by to check out what potentially is happening for you for November. Uh, this is a general reading Cancer as always, so only take what flows to you and let the rest go for someone else. I hope you're doing really well and that life has been kind and gentle on you. Although I have to say, I'm Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon. I don't know about you, Cancer, but I've been feeling pretty stressed over the last, well, uh, four or five days. I mean, I've really been feeling that uh, new moon and that eclipse energy. Oh, I just, um, in some ways, it's almost feeling a little heavier than Mercury retrograde. So let me know in the comments below if you've been feeling like that and um, we'll connect on that, right? Uh, so anyways, let's get into your reading. I'm gonna get you an animal card, then we're gonna start off with a three card block and then we'll clarify as needed. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. If you find this reading helpful or you like the way that I do read and channel the messages from Spirit and would like a private reading to dive in a little bit deeper on something that you might want to um, have some answers to or perhaps some guidance, all that information is down below. All right, Cancer, without further ado, let's get into it and see what is awaiting you for the month of November 2022. Okay, Spirit, for Cancer, our water sign, what's going on for Cancer? What messages, guidance? Do you have for those that need it? What would you like them to know? Cancer. Ooh, this one. Thank you. We have transformation cancer. Wow. Exactly what I've been feeling. Um, transformation. Sea otter. Transformation, we all know what that is about, don't we? We're actually in Scorpio season, so this is a big one for you, um, indicating that there is a major, major life-changing event, something that is coming into your world in the month of November. Um, you know, Scorpio is your sister water sign, so Scorpio is about death and rebirth. I really feel that this is going to be a massive month of change. Now, bottom of the deck, we have elephant, which is all about being a leader, leadership, taking leadership. So this could be because it's a general reading, right? Um, many different ways we can interpret and, um, oh my gosh, and messages come through from spirit. But I am instantly feeling that this is feeling more about your career. doesn't have to be, but that's what they're giving me at the moment. So elephant. Also, elephants are known to be extremely fortunate. They bring a lot of abundance. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, oh, my camera is just wiping it right out. Sorry about that. Elephants in certain religions, certain cultures are really worshipped because they do support the eye, the knowledge, the vibration of blessings and, um, you know, a lot of harvest. Even on this card, there's beautiful flowers just blooming out of everywhere. Um, yeah, so this could mean that there's a transformation that you are becoming a leader in some way. Yes, career. Maybe you're taking a boss position. Maybe you're just bossing up and doing something independently on your own, um, starting your own business. This could even just be in your family, in your relations, in your community, that you are taking some leadership. Um, and for a lot of you, it could even be personal, right? You're taking leadership on your own life and that is changing the way your life is. It is really helping to transform um, everything, really, is what it feels like. So beautiful cards. I'll show them together just so you can see them. Uh, transformation is number not 18, reduces down to nine. Nines, if you um, are into numerology, nines are about really closure, endings, a change, right? So it's very fitting that that is, um, sea otter is named, numbered nine. I don't know why I can't talk. Um, elephant is number 10, which reduces down to one. So we're talking about magician energy here as well, right? My hands are a bit shaky. Um, just the energy that's coming through. Sorry about that if it was a little blurred. Okay, Cancer, let's get into your spread and see what is going on. All right, Spirit, three cards, please, to start for Cancer. Taking leadership, making a major shift to change, going on a new path in one way here. You know, it could even be indicating that you've been struggling for quite a while, Cancer, in some form, and financially, even getting a career going. And um, this month, it's like you really just take charge. You take charge, and it changes and transforms your entire life. Thank you, Spirit. This one. Didn't want that one. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Wands. There's that determination that's coming out. 
Wands is our fire, so you might also have placements in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Does not have to be. Thank you, Spirit. Followed by the Three of Pentacles. You're working hard. Collaboration. Maybe working with other people to create some huge life change. Okay, those are way too many, so we'll put them back. Okay, Spirit, one more card, please. For Cancer. November 2022. Please show me clearly. I like I like this energy because ooh five of swords mm, I, I like that energy and then all of a sudden I'm like I'm not really a big fan of the five of swords but um, you know as you are moving forward and taking risks and chances ooh but look at ten of pentacles is on the bottom so we're definitely gonna get some clarifiers here spirit says look it's like you are determined to win I'm hearing now win win in what win in getting money win in getting established win on succeeding i love this energy for you cancer because what you set your mind to you will achieve what you think about you bring about it's not any kind of a joke it's really honestly true it's like when you focus on the positivity and you focus on the direction you're wanting to go in and you really cut out any self-talk that is negative or you cut out any feelings of perhaps doubting like the you know the big doubt like am I ever gonna get financially secure for example am I ever gonna find my partner that I want to share my life with when we cut out those what ifs it's amazing how your vibration rises and then you start to only attract what is of that same level so really important message to come through I feel from spirit to trust your inner guidance you're highly intuitive and Cancer, you are a fighter. I mean, you are loving and caring and giving and protective, and you normally typically will give to anyone and everyone around you and put yourself on the back burner. And although that is a lovely trait that Cancerians do have, at times it can be way too much. It's way too heavy, and people can rely on you almost to the point where you're in a box where you can't get out of it, you know, because you've put yourself and you've given your given people so much of your time and your energy that when it comes to that point where you're feeling drained or you're feeling tapped out not everyone can understand that because they're so used to beautiful cancer who has this warm loving heart giving 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 um i know this is a repetitive message that always comes through pretty much for you cancer so it's it's this is about the change that needs to happen now we've got the nine of wands that is starting off and it is saying you are now determined to move forward for your own transformation, for you to receive what you honestly want. You're not gonna give up easily. Wounded warrior, so wounded warrior is telling me that you have been battling, you have been fighting, you've been climbing, scratching to get to the top, and it's probably been one step forward and five steps back in some area. Three of Pentacles follows along. I've already said this is the middle of the, the center of the spread so far. This is a beautiful card because it is saying that you are making a lot of effort. You're, you're actually producing something now. Um, and it does feel that there may be two people around you that are helping you. Could be business partners. Uh, could be your family. Could be your partner, um, love partner. Could even be children or parents, right? Three of Pentacles, though, it is the Pentacles, so it is about our material worth. But you're creating something and although you're only at three you are really starting to build i mean this is almost like a stop sign um stoplight right green red and yellow and you are producing it and soon you're going to get the green light is what i'm feeling it is followed by the seven five of swords so you are still stressing a bit um and that makes sense with the, all these eclipses that are happening being in eclipse season you know things are getting uh, the world is getting crazy and even more crazier and there's a lot of worry and concern right regardless of how your life is you would have to be <coughs> um you know under a rock to not feel any of the stress of what is going on in this world so i feel it's a combination here of your mind um maybe starting to you might be starting to lose a little bit of faith you might be starting to lose a little bit of hope you might just be mentally exhausted and tapped out here you could even have people around you that might be saying, oh, Cancer, do you think that's a good idea to pursue this or to pursue that? Remember what you have here, transformation and elephant. And leadership, you have to take leadership of your own life here is what I'm really feeling. Um, so important message. Now, also they're coming through to tell me that it's important for you, Cancer, to remember to have a little bit of fun. Sea otters play often. Um, they, yes, they are, you know, 
strong swimmers and you know they are on land they're in water but they are also they they frolic if you've ever watched them they frolic um so there's a reminder for you to try and get out of the five of swords so that that doesn't become any kind of blocks bottom of the deck ten of pentacles cancer so ten of pentacles is such a beautiful energy to have at the very bottom if you've been to my channel before and you know me and you know how I read Cancer, you know that the bottom of the deck for me is a foundation of this reading. So overall, whatever struggles you may be going through, whatever roadblocks might be in the way at this present time, you will be receiving abundance. There is good things coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles means that there's going to be a lot of money coming towards you. Like again, this could be a new position you're taking or a business that you're really getting off the ground. Maybe you even have a YouTube channel, right? Um, but however this is applying, this is letting you know that if even if right now things are feeling insecure and you're feeling unstable, there is huge st stability coming into you. As long as you really keep going after what it is you want. I hope this is making sense. Nine of Swords is underneath as well. And this is again the energy I'm picking up. I've, Like I've said, I've experienced this too recently. Worry worry anxiety what about this what about that what if this doesn't turn out you know and it freaking can drive you absolutely crazy because sometimes when you get in this mind frame um man you just feel like every single thing you're gonna do is gonna just be scary and things aren't gonna work out trust me it is going to work out spirit is saying here totally so i'm gonna keep the bottom card out here and we're gonna go for some more clarifiers all right, Spirit, let's get a clarifier. Nine of Wands, what would you like Cancer to know about why the Nine of Wands is here? This determination, this standing up, standing straight after fighting a long battle in Cancer. This could have been a struggle that you've been going through for a very long time. Um, you know, but man, look at you. Look at you. You haven't given up. We've got the sun. Wow. I love this. All that determination, all that hard work, all that commitment, not giving up is bringing you abundance and blessings. Freedom as well. I am really picking up that through the month of November, probably by the time you get to December, you're gonna start seeing some really big results. I, this isn't feeling so much about love, but it absolutely could be. This is just feeling like whatever you are pursuing, whatever you are fighting for, whatever it is that you are really trying to attract into your life to manifest, you are doing it. You are on the right path. So don't get discouraged when you might have a little bit of doubts or you might have a little bit of worries. It's a five. Five is about change, always about change. So whenever you're feeling this way throughout the month or, you know, forever, really, try to remember that it's only in that moment. It's only for that time. Things are always going to bounce back up. The sun, Leo's card, beautiful energy. You've got the sun, ten of pentacles. Cancer, I don't know what you're doing, but I feel like you are going to be relieved from anything that has felt like you are in prison, you know? Um imprisoned from not being able to completely see the manifestation. I'm going to see what's on the bottom. My God, Nine of Swords is showing up again. So you have been going through the ringer, Cancer. I'm a Cancer. So you and me, we're in this together, okay? Let's share our vibration. Let's share our energy. And let's pick each other up. And let's keep on fighting. Let's be each other's cheerleaders. Um, I need you just as much as if you need this message, um, if this is your reading. So let's do that. Let's do this damn thing, you know? Let's get to the sun where we are like, yes, we've made it, you know? Finally, finally we're there. Okay, let's continue. Let's get another card for, you want that there? Okay, thank you, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. What is Cancer working on here? Show me clearly, please. This one, thank you. The Hermit. Oh, I love this because it is so much aligning with these two animal cards. The Hermit is Virgo's card, first of all. Um, you know, and the Sun is also number 10, which reduces down to one, which also can be the Magician. It's the underlining energy that Spirit is giving me here. I'm starting to feel quite jazzed up. The Hermit is about you really relying on your inner wisdom and yourself, you taking leadership of yourself um, and not allowing any outside forces to be the deciding factor in how your life is gonna go. 
I love this because it really does feel like that is exactly what you're doing. You are tapping into that beautiful inner guidance system and you're listening to it. You're relying on your source, the source that exists in each and every one of us. And you are making magic happen. Seven of Pentacles underneath, okay, which is about taking stock, right? Let's see what the Five of Swords is here for. Spirit, what is Cancer stressing about? What is this? This one? Okay, Justice. Wow, beautiful. Oh, bottom, Empress. Cancer, November is going to be one hell of a good month for you. Okay, we'll go through the bottom of the deck. Justice has come out, so we've got Libra. Do you see that we have three major arcana that have clarified the first three card block? Big deal. This And whenever you have major arcana showing up a lot, in a reading, it really is indicative that your life is changing and it will never go back to the way it was prior. And by the way that this is coming out, I would say, hell yes, hell yes, finally. Justice is about the scales being balanced. They've been out of whack for a long time, obviously because you've been the nine of wands. You have been fighting tooth and nail to make something change, to bring more happiness, fun, money, security, love into your life, and it finally is starting to enter. It's coming through the door now. The doors are wide open. I love justice because it's like also about the truth, you know, your truth, you speaking your truth, standing up for what is right, um, and aligning really with spirit, angels, whatever you do believe in cancer, uh, that they are helping you bring the scales back into balance beautiful energy. So at the bottom of the deck, as I said, we have the Empress. She's Taurus. This is about whatever you've been working on is about to be birthed. This transformation, some of you might be pregnant and you might be able to, you might be about to get pregnant. I have to say that, or about to give birth. If so, oh, big, big congratulations. And you know, just so much love sent your way for the rest of you because not everyone is doing that this is about in it could because this is a male and female reading the, for the rest of you this is about whatever you have been wanting to manifest and that you've been working on is about to be born she is abundance as well she is nurturing she's loving but this is expansion it's like you planted the seeds you've put the work in and you've waited and waited and waited and now it is coming to you we have the Six of Swords following that. So again, another card of leaving the shit behind and moving to somewhere that is gonna be so much better. And we also have then your energy, the King of Cups showing up now. And again, like I said, non-gender specific reading, being completely balanced in your emotions, knowing that you can take on anything and that you will be successful in it. Uh, just feeling damn good is what I'm really picking up. Now, we do have the Devil also showing up. Uh, this is Capricorn. You know, this could be the reminder that you just got to keep the toxic self-talk out of your life. You got to keep the toxic people out of your life. It's on, it's the fourth underneath, so it's not near as strong as the Ten of Pentacles. That was the first card. Actually, sorry, this is the fifth card, but it still shows up, right? It still has a meaning. Um, it's just a reminder to not allow anything that is toxic that keep makes you feel like you are in bondage. Don't allow it to have any of that power. How did I have these Empress right? Empress this, okay. All right, Cancer, this looks absolutely beautiful. Whatever you are doing, you are doing it the right way. This is gonna be the month where you're gonna to start to get really, um, you're gonna be able to really start to see the rewards coming in. I also feel like you're gonna be really balancing out. <clears throat> like I said, if you've been anywhere like me, um, I'm Cancer Sun and I'm Cancer Moon, Sagittarius rising. <clears throat> uh, it has been one hell of a hard journey. Really, it has. It has not been easy. So I am sending so much love and hugs to you um, because, <laughs> damn, we deserve a break. We really do. We really, really do. So thank you, Spirit, for bringing these cards and this energy to Cancer's reading. I'm going to close your reading off now, Cancer. I'm going to get you a Pearls of Wisdom, I feel. Feel that is the deck that they want me to use so let's go ahead and close your reading out all right spirit one final message for cancer and look if this is about a relationship if you've been struggling in a relationship it's like the relationship comes back together things balance out um, if this is about you looking for love 
because this is a general reading, I just want to bring this in. If this is about you looking for love, I feel that it is around the corner. This is all positive, high vibrational cards and energy other than the five of swords. But again, that means change. So it's all changing for you. Okay, let's finish this reading for Cancer. One card, please, Spirit. Cancer, what final advice, guidance would you offer our beautiful Cancerians for the month of November? Hmm. Okay, ooh, well, we've got three. Well, we have balance on the bottom, so that goes with justice. And balance is about making sure you're taking time to rest, to, you know, drink well, eat well, do the things that make you feel good. It's about you doing things that are going to energize you, Cancer, because this is a big transformation. And then we have new learning. Oh, we have four. We have relationships and we have self-talk. Okay. Oh, and then we've got this poem. Um, this is about being positive and looking at the glass always as if it's full and not as if it's empty. Um, I can read it. It says a glass may be half full today as yesterday it was half empty. So it's about that switch change in perspective. It is the same glass. It is the same liquid. The prism of change is you. Tomorrow it will be filling endlessly. So here's Spirit's way of coming through to let you know <clears throat> wherever has been lacking in your life, wherever you have felt struggle and lack, it is the struggle is getting removed and the lack is getting filled up with all what of, of what you want. So we have new learning. It says the wolf teaches you to know who you are. Facing your fears is one of the greatest learning experiences and shows us how to change and grow. This is all about that transformation that you're about to go through. It's interesting because there's a full moon here and then there's a full moon on the Empress. And I do find this quite interesting because we have a full moon on November 8th. Um, I believe it's the 8th. Is it? Damn, I think it's the 8th. You know, I, I haven't looked up the astrology right for this, so look it up if you're into that. Something big could be coming towards you in that first week or two in November because they're really drawing me to the moon. And then we have relationships. Beautiful. Animal, two partners. And again, look at, they, they said, the moon, the moon, look. And there it is. It's rising in the back. Okay, surround yourself with others who have achieved what you desire and allow their influence to inspire you. The future is positive. That can also be indicating with the three of pentacles that you are, you are surrounding yourself or you are um, doing research with someone else to help you continue to grow, to help you continue to um, help your harvest grow. And finally, we have self-talk. That's the five of swords. So spirit is done beautiful with picking the cards. It says, listen to your head chatter. If it's too constant, switch off and become involved in a creative activity. And Cancer, you are highly creative. Um, so they want you to focus on creative activities that will put you in the now moment instead of being in the Five of Swords energy where it's like, you know, I don't know what to do, panicking and, you know, that molehill becomes a mountain. Uh, so they're asking you to focus on something else that will keep you in the now. Acknowledge the blessings in your life as well. It says affirmation is I am focused. So Cancer, that is the message. It's like, and that's another side note I just want to say, um, because they're reminding me about the blessings. And the blessings, no matter how small they appear, <clears throat> if you can stay in a, a vibrational energy of, abund of appreciation, of appreciation, pre appreciating all of the blessings, you will find that the universe gives you more of that, you know, um, because that's what the energy is that you're putting out there. If you, we stay in a vibration of worry and stress and struggle, you know, I don't know about you, but I have always found then that's exactly what I get is a lot more of that. So let's do it together this month of November. Let's put on our positive hat and let's just make our dreams come true. We have this transformation coming through and it looks like it's going to be very beautiful. So I'm really excited to give this reading to you. Okay, Cancer, I hope this helped in some way. Again, always so much love and support. I appreciate you guys. I, you just mean a lot to me and I love connecting with you here. Um, I wish you a beautiful month and I really hope all your dreams come true. Mwah, I love you. Until next time, take great care of yourself.